Today we're going to take a look at the Solium S60, an outdoor solar battery powered security camera. Home wireless IP camera with motion detection and this one's got a 160 degree wide angle lens, quick alert and night vision. And this is currently $129 on Amazon, but I'll leave a link in the description with current pricing and more information. And this has a built-in 4000 milliamp battery to provide constant power. You can save up to 20 recorded videos per day on the cloud for free, or you can use a micro SD card in order to store videos, which will operate at any outdoor weather temperatures between four degrees up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is 100% wireless with 1080p HD video, and it's also got two-way audio. And of course this has live monitoring so that you can view it at any time. And there's an app you can download for Android or iOS. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. So yeah, this definitely looks a little different than most security cameras that you're gonna see. I mean, it definitely looks like an airplane. And here's the mounting arm that it comes with. You've got three holes on the base in order to screw it in. And then where the camera mounts actually swivels up and down. And then you just tighten it up here on the side. Then you've got warranty and customer service information. A little tool to reset the camera, a pretty good size audio video surveillance sticker, user manual, mounting screws, and then really small screws. I assume this is just extras and they do include a little Phillips screwdriver and micro USB charging cable. And as for the device itself, you've got the status light, the camera lens, light sensor, infrared LED and then down here at the bottom is what does the motion sensing and then of course here what looks like wings on an airplane is the actual solar panel which is going to use the sunlight in order to charge the battery and then on the bottom you've got the microphone micro SD card slot USB charging port reset button and then you've got the power button and then of course right in the middle is where you screw in the mounting bracket now, one thing you want to do is charge the camera about six to eight hours using the provided USB cable. And then after connecting the camera to the app, the app will indicate the battery status. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the camera charging. Then I'm going to go ahead and download the Solium app and see if we can get this connected to my Wi-Fi. So once you have the app installed, we should be able to just hit add device and then let's try a scan QR code. And then once you scan the QR code, you just have to create a password. So just hit add device, set up device. Then once there's a blue flashing light, you just hit yes. Wow, that noise is super annoying. Then all you gotta do is create a password, confirm the password, and then select where the device is located. And you can see that's pretty much it. Now you have live view of the camera. Once inside the app, you've got some shortcuts along the bottom for album, cloud storage, cruise, voice, and settings. And then you can take a photo, record footage, or use the built-in mic. You can switch it between SD video or HD video. Once you go into the settings, you can turn the cloud storage on or off, format the SD card. Then you've got several things you can change such as orientation, environment, PIR detection, dormancy time, power frequency, LED lamp, device name and password, and share QR code. And you can also check for firmware updates. It looks like this one is already up to date. And then once you go back to your device list, it'll show you everything that's connected to this app. So that's pretty much the basics of the camera and the initial setup. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out the rest of the week, come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I've tested this camera for around one full week now. And before I started, I charged the battery completely before setting it up outside. I was getting a little concerned about the battery keeping a charge since I put it outside 
when it was rainy and sort of overcast conditions, but I'll get into that in just a second. When it comes to overall clarity of the video, I was pleasantly surprised just how good it looked. I would always get an alert on my phone when my cats were trying to get something to eat or just playing around. It's definitely better quality than my older 720p cameras where I had it mounted or any other types of weather really, it's just kind of out in the open. I wanted to test if indeed it was waterproof and so far so good. I had to turn off the calling feature because I really don't like to be called every time the motion detects something. So I switched that to notifications and I actually think it worked pretty good. And the surprising thing is the live feed video loaded on my phone almost every time I would open the app with no problems. Now back to the battery life. It finally started to say I need to charge the battery after one week of use. Part of the problem is that I put this camera in a high traffic area watching my cats and neighbor cats all day and night so that I would for sure get some activity to show you. The other problem is that we've had several cloudy and rainy days this past week, not to mention where it's located doesn't get direct sunlight at all times. Most reviews on Amazon are positive for this camera and for the most part I would have to agree. The dual weight audio seemed to work fairly decent, although a little echoey for the person outside. I could hear them pretty good on my end using the app. I do wish the SD card capacity would be a little larger than 64 gigabytes. So yeah, my first impressions are I can definitely recommend the Solium S60 battery powered security camera, especially with the right or ideal locations where it's going to get direct sunlight or if it's in an area that can easily be charged. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.